could tell this story to 8 to 10 million Americans right now on a recurring basis. The most valuable prime time airtime in the world right now. And you're blowing it. Chris Saka is an American venture investor, private equity advisor, and public speaker, and probably more recently known for being a Shark Tank investor on the ABC TV program Shark Tank, which began airing in 2009 and has snagged some pretty luxurious real estate throughout California. In fact, 2014 was a real busy year for Mr. Saka. In addition to buying a pair of homes side by side in Manhattan Beach, Saka managed to fork out a whopping $6.3 million Palos Verdes estate house for his parents. What a nice guy. In addition, Saka went on to spread his real estate seed in Carlsbad, California, while managing to find time to pay 415 k for a 1,200 square foot cabin up in Truckee, California, near the North Shore of Lake Tahoe. Now, he already owned a home in Shoreline, Washington, but when you're a billionaire like Chris Saka, you can afford a house just to use the washroom. That's, that's kind of, wow, that's depressing. But this is a house tour you don't want to miss. Get money, don't let these people fool you. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, so please do not show up at any private residences because it is not safe for anyone. Chris Saka has made quite the lucrative living, garnering a net worth of $1.2 billion. Chris is the proprietor of Laura Case Capital, a venture capital fund in the United States that has invested in seed and early stage technology companies such as Twitter, Uber, and Instagram. Talk about knowing how to pick things. Prior to founding Laura Case Capital in 2010, Saka had several positions at Google where he led the alternative access and wireless divisions. His career earnings has been well earned since 2011. He has been listed on Forbes Midas list, top tech investors, when he was the youngest of the 100 investors listed. In 2015, Saka was featured on the cover of Forbes magazine, listed as number three on the Midas list. And in 2017, he was listed at number two Business Week, named him one of the top 10 angel investors, and Vanity Fair has named Saka to its newest establishment list. His Twitter investment fund, Lowercase Capital, has reportedly returned an astonishing five billion to investors. Saka announced that he was retiring from venture investing, and along with it, his role on Shark Tank, saying he was two years late on his plan to retire at 40 years old. Life's so tough, oh my God, poor you. <laughs> he said his firm would continue to support his portfolio companies, but would not take on any new investments or raise more money from investors. With all that money in the bank, Chris has managed to build quite the impressive real estate portfolio along the West Coast. In addition to owning side-by-side -side homes in Manhattan Beach, purchasing a mansion estate for his parents, owning a cabin near Lake Tahoe, and owning an additional mansion in Washington, it's safe to say Chris's quest to take over the West Coast is nearly complete. Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Marla Palmer, and today we're bringing you another house tour here for you on Famous Entertainment. I noticed 95% of you guys watching are not subscribed, so please be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post new videos daily, fam. Now, we've done house tours on people like Jaden Smith and Miley Cyrus, so if you like those, please hit those up. If you like this video, please hit that bell for notifications. Follow me on Instagram at that dude fly so we can chat some more, and let me know whose house tour to do next in the comment section down below. Let's get into the video. In October 2014, just a few months after buying his Manhattan Beach homes, Mr. Saka forked out another $6.3 million for a sprawling Mediterranean villa in the South Bay, Los Angeles community of Palos Verdes Estates. This home is less than eight miles from his Manhattan Beach compound, and while the home is not waterfront property, it does sport Pacific Ocean views and lies on a family-oriented and mostly quiet community. While the residence appears fairly modest from the street, it actually is a mansion that features 7,400 square feet and boasts four bedrooms and six bathrooms. Some of the luxe features included in this home is a lavish pool, a heated terrace, a media room, and a 2200 square foot garage for all of his toys. And we know that boy got some toys with that much money, I would. While the ongoing theme in this house tour will be lavish homes in California, Chris snagged a luxurious home in Shoreline, Washington. A home was designed by master architect and was custom built in 1998. The home features over 9,500 square feet and boasts five bedrooms and four bathrooms. And we're talking some unreal features, included game rooms, wine cellar for those that, of course, fancy a Chardonnay, and outdoor entertaining area with spectacular their patio and pool. Other interior features include a large marble bathroom with soaking tub and stand and shower off of the master bedroom, double pane storm windows that are oversized and give the room bright life and an airy and roomy ambiance, and elegant French doors. Being the tech guy that Chris is, it's no surprise the home features a high-tech cabling and a walk-in pantry big enough to be a room in the house. The dining room is decked out Victorian style with traditional artwork and paintings, large curtains, and carpets that resemble those found in a castle and direct access to the manicured grounds. While Saka was absolutely crushing it, he dropped a 
modest 415K for a tiny 1,200 square foot cabin up in Truckee, California, near the North Shore of Lake Tahoe. Now, why would he do that? Well, it lies right next door to what may have been Mr. Saka's first cabin house, a 2,200 square foot wood cabin, which boasted four bedrooms, a loft level, and a hot tub that he bought in early 2009 for 630K, and he still owns, according to property records. So when all is said and done, Mr. Saka has paid a total of $1 million for his 84 acre mini compound up in the woods. This private luxury community is ranked as Tahoe's best place to own a second home, and with good reason. The home features a soaring balconies, oversized floor to ceiling windows, and abundance of fireplaces, and beautiful patios offering the utmost relaxation and tranquility. Chris Sacker clearly loves the beach. Back in December 2014, just two months after purchasing the Palos Verdes house, he dropped another 1.1 million for a lavish home in Carlsbad, California. The 1966 house located on the La Costa Beach, just north of San Diego, features 3,400 square feet and boasts four bedrooms and four bathrooms. The home features ample space for relaxation, including a dining room that comes complete with a cozy fireplace, large oversized windows, and sliding glass doors with access to beautiful terrace. The kitchen features all the modern stainless steel appliances, marble countertops, and a beautiful breakfast island and perfectly centered. In addition, there are several other dining areas which are decked out with elegant artwork and paintings, modern antiques, and glamorous chandeliers. While the interior of the home is pretty dope, check out that backyard. A large saltwater pool is surrounded by a pool, house, spa, and barbecue area perfect for entertaining. In addition, the pool area is decked out, lavish furnishings, manicured greens, and rolling lawns of ample space. I do so many cartwheels back there, fam, you have no idea. Probably the most luxurious of Saka's real estate portfolio is his two side by side side houses on one of Manhattan Beach's main streets. Yes, I said it, two side-by-side -side houses. Back in 2011, he paid 5.2 million for the property, then spent several years and millions of dollars to reconstruct the structure. The property contains approximately 5,000 square foot of modern and eco-friendly living space and boasts four bedrooms and four bathrooms. The home features a formal entry enclosed patio and porches and his very own library. Like, not too shabby, am I right? While the property does not feature a pool, it is literally steps away from a beach. The kitchen is decked out in all modern stainless steel appliances, spectacular gas range oven and breakfast area and bar. One of the living spaces features floor to ceiling glass sliding doors, direct access to the balcony which boasts terrific ocean views and flat screen television that soars over a cozy fireplace. In addition to numerous outdoor living spaces with lavish furnishings, the home features three masters and an oversized walk-in closet. You'll be happy to know that the home features a games room, bar, and beautifully potted plants perfect for entertaining. Alright, so I think I'll bring this house tour to an end here. We got to take a quick look at Chris Saka's home and all the sick pads he owns, some of them for no reason at all. I mean, do what you want, you're rich. After seeing those fancy houses he snagged, what did you guys think? Was it everything you would expect out of Saka? Personally, I was a huge fan of those side-by-side -side homes in Manhattan Beach, literally steps away from the ocean. I'd move my mom into the next one. I get free cooking all the time. Think about it, think about it. Out of Saka's features, which ones were your fave? Rate them down in the comments down below. Hit me up on Instagram at thatdubinfly so we can chat some more. And let us know whose house tour to do next in the comment section below. See you guys next time, bye.